Fellas, you gotta love a spider with a big ass, you know what I'm saying? The opening scene features Los Angeles, where the people are seen running here and there in panic in order to save their lives. It turns out that a giant spider has attacked the city and wreaked havoc. Despite several army helicopters' attempts to subdue the creature, they prove futile. The scene then shifts to the flashback before this incident. We are introduced to the protagonist, Alex Mathis, who is a cash-strapped but good-natured exterminator working in Los Angeles. As a part of his job, Alex is helping an elderly lady with her rodent problem. After capturing the insects, he is preparing to leave when the woman follows him to his vehicle. That's not the rodent I meant, Sonny. As usual, she has no money to pay him, but she gives him a cake, expressing her gratitude. Alex Alex graciously accepts it, but he seems somewhat disturbed by the woman's apparent affection for him. Their conversation is suddenly interrupted by a spider that crawls on Alex's shoulder, which he recognizes as a venomous one. He asks the elderly lady to stay calm, as it won't hurt until it is threatened. However, the woman disregards his instructions and proceeds to swat it with her slipper. As a result, the spider bites him, and he and he ends up in the hospital. While being treated, Alex tries to flirt with a hospital nurse, but she does not seem to be interested in him. She tends to his wounds whilst simultaneously rebuffing his rather cliched advances. Elsewhere, in the hospital morgue, a worker is startled by the movement in one of the body bags. Amidst the flickering lights, he nervously approaches the bag. Just then, something with long legs appears from behind and bites him on his neck. In a state of panic, the worker sounds the fire alarm, causing an evacuation of the building. Shortly after, he is brought to the reception where the irritable hospital manager scolds him for making a false fire alarm. However, the man is sure that he was attacked by something much bigger than a spider. Alex, who is also present at the scene, volunteers to handle the situation, citing his expertise with spiders and also horny broke old ladies, but that's not important right now. In exchange for this, he requests the manager to cover his hospital expenses. The latter promptly agrees and Alex is taken to the morgue by a security guard named Jose. Upon entering the room, Alex discovers the dead body within which the spider had been living. After a bit of research, he notices an open air vent and deduces that the spider escaped into it. Good thing they called in the pro. He then decides to enter the vent and hands Jose a walkie talkie to keep in contact. In the meantime, a US military task force led by Major Braxton Tanner and Lieutenant Carly Brandt shows up at the hospital to assess the situation. The hospital manager tries to clarify that it was a false fire alarm, but the Major seems to be aware of the spider outbreak. Through their conversation, it is clear that the army is hunting down the creature, which they refer to as a contagion. Elsewhere in a hospital ward room, a paralyzed patient spots the same spider emerging from an air vent. Gradually, it advances beneath his blanket, heading towards his head. The immobilized man tries to press the alarm button, but the spider soon attacks his face, resulting in his brutal demise. Back inside the ventilation system, Alex reaches a junction and contacts Jose for guidance. While navigating, he notices something passing by, prompting him to investigate with extra caution. He heads forward, only to stumble upon a spider web. He simply tries to sweep it aside, but it turns out to be very sticky, unlike the other spider webs. Using his supposed know-how, he pulls out a lighter to burn it off, but it is so flammable that it almost catches his hands on fire. Sticky and flammable, that's not a spider web. That's jizz. Meanwhile, Major Braxton receives information about the spider's victim in the ward room, prompting him and a forensic doctor to investigate. Upon examination, the doctor figures out that the man died approximately 10 minutes earlier. He theorizes that the spider is selecting its prey very smartly. He also... <laughs> what? He also claims that the creature is growing exponentially and that it has already quadrupled in size. According to the doctor, it will quadruple again if it continues to hunt and feed in this manner. On the other hand, Alex reaches the hospital basement. There, he locates the spider inside a can bottle in an attempt to lure it out. He rolls a penny towards it. Much to his shock, a big spider attacks the penny and carries it away. Alex immediately sprays the acid towards it, but the spider is so 
so fast that it is already behind him moments before it can launch an attack on him. Lieutenant Carly arrives at the stairs and shoots towards the creature. This scares the spider, causing it to escape into the sewer. Meanwhile, Alex, who is unaware about the gravity of the situation, gets angry with Carly for interrupting his work. The lieutenant then takes him to the major, who asks him about what he witnessed. However, all he can say is that it's the biggest spider he's ever encountered in his life. Upon hearing that Alex does not have much information about it, Major Braxton asks Lieutenant Carly to escort him out. As the two exit the hospital, Alex repeatedly requests that she allow him to help the military, but she denies him. He also presses for more information about the spider, but Carly doesn't say anything. Before parting ways, the two of them exchange their cards, asking to give a call if needed. Do you want my Instagram too? No. After the lieutenant leaves, Jose convinces Alex to continue their pursuit as it could be the most important thing of their lives. Later on, a homeless guy is wandering inside the sewer in hopes of finding something to eat. During this time, he notices a penny embedded into a spider web. I love pennies. He proceeds to grab at it, but the spider appears from behind. It splashes acid-like liquid on the beggar's face before killing him. He didn't want acid on his face tonight, but beggars can't be choosers. The scene then cuts to the military headquarters, where the Major, Lieutenant, and Doctor monitor their forces, who are inspecting a sewer leading to the LA River. Inside, they discover that the spider has already entrapped 20 to 30 people in a web, indicating its progression to Stage 3. Alex and Jose also arrive at the scene and keep an eye on the military from a distance. Jose then calls Lieutenant Carly to ask whether the spider is caught or not. Upon learning that it's still free, the two try to guess its next destination. Alex says that the spider will need both a food source and tree cover. Hearing this, Jose speculates that it might be at a nearby public park. So, the two head there. True to their assumption, the spider, which has now grown excessively, is in the public park. But on their way, they are pulled over by a cop for speeding. In order to make it to the park in time, Alex bribes the officer and drives away. Meanwhile, the spider attacks an old man who's exercising. It soon goes on a killing spree by taking down anyone on its way, which creates chaos. Not long after, Alex and Jose arrive at the park and locate the creature. Alex initially decides to ram it with his truck, but he changes his mind after witnessing its immense size. As he drives away, the spider starts pursuing them through the park. In the midst of this, Lieutenant Carly calls Alex, warning him that he is approaching a military crossfire. But before he can change his direction, the military opens fire towards the creature. A huge firefight ensues, but the spider escapes into the nearby woods. After this, all the military soldiers, including Lieutenant Carly, arm themselves with additional weapons and prepare to pursue the creature. Alex, once again, tries to convince the lieutenant to allow him to accompany them, but she again refuses. She appreciates whatever he did until now, but asks him to stay out of trouble. The soldiers then venture into the woods, only to be ambushed one after another. Amidst this chaos, Lieutenant Carly gets stuck in an extremely sticky spider web, hot. But before the creature turns its attention towards her, Alex shows up and releases her. Right then, then Jose appears armed with a gun and begins shooting at the spider. This diversion allows them to flee the scene. However, they are not able to outrun the creature, and as a result, it wraps up the lieutenant with its web and takes her away. In the next scene, Alex and Jose get back to the military headquarters and ask the major to rescue Carly, but he responds that it is already too late for it. At the same time, the forensic doctor informs the major that the creature is going for stage four. Five. Hearing this, Alex and Jose demand answers as to what's going on. Major Braxton finally reveals that they had discovered alien DNA and hoped to use it as a growth hormone. However, a spider's nest was hidden in some test fruit, thus exposing the spider to the alien DNA and triggering its rapid growth. Friggin' friggin' test fruit, man. Based on their studies of the alien DNA, the doctor claims that the spider will soon start reproducing. Shortly after, they learn that the now enormous spider is heading towards downtown LA. CCTV cameras capture its rampage through streets and towers, creating havoc. It soon creates a nest on top of the US bank tower. In a desperate attempt to take down the giant beast, the Major grants the order for an airstrike. He must have gotten a three-kill spree. Alex reminds that thousands of people's lives are on the line, but the Major claims that he has to take this step to save millions of others. As the helicopters approach the bank tower, they notice that the lieutenant is still alive and that she is bundled up in webs alongside the spider's 
eggs. Seeing this, the Major, who now believes in Alex and Jose, allows them to rush to Carly's rescue. Following this, Alex and his associate grab an array of weapons and set out on their mission. They are battling against time, with the airstrike a matter of minutes away, and the spider's eggs already beginning to hatch. On their way, Alex deduces that shooting its spinneret can kill this big-ass spider. Upon their arrival at the bank tower, the duo takes an elevator to get to the top. Once there, they start freeing Carly, as well as the other trapped victims. A few moments later, a number of spider offspring emerge from their eggs and launch an attack on them. They shoot down some of them and manage to make it back to the elevator. Shortly after their departure, the airstrike hits the mother spider, knocking it off the tower. Believing that the threat has ended, the Major calls Alex and commends his brave work. However, it turns out that the danger is not yet resolved, as the spider gets back up. Determined to bring an end to the menace, Alex grabs a rocket launcher and fires it at the spider's spinneret, finally finishing it off. In the aftermath of the event, Alex and Carly share a passionate embrace and kiss in the middle of the road, marking the beginning of their new relationship. Seeing this, Jose jokingly asks them, to get a room. God damn it, Jose, could you not have come up with something a little better than that? In a mid credits scene, Major Braxton calls Alex to convey another impending issue. In the background of the call, a video monitor reveals a giant cockroach climbing the Statue of Liberty. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.